we have a treat for you today. We are here, right on Alamo Square. Watch the video. Hi everybody, it is Kevin Ho and we have a treat for you today. We are here at Postcard Row, aka the Painted Ladies. We are here to see number 722 Steiner, listed with our friend Molly Poe over at what's it, Indigo Real Estate now. This is the corner single family house. Well, actually I kind of see this, but corner Painted Lady over here, Grove Street is over here. And it's just a fantastic home, which we are going to walk through today. It's been lovingly restored. Apparently it was the first one that the uh, developers did way back when. And you will see the scale and the detail is pretty amazing. So we're going in. Hey, how are you? So you'll notice first you're greeted by this beautiful entryway. Look at all the detailing, all the styling. It's been restored, but it's also been updated and modernized. We've got solar and everything. Take a look here. Here's a listening legend, Molly. She's there, so hi. Look at all that detail. So we've got uh, just about 12 foot ceilings on this floor here too. We've got, look at the ornamented details here. The stained glass. You've got the pressed wallpaper here. We've got a lot of rooms upstairs, a lot of rooms downstairs. Let's go back here too. First, we've got that molding. Super fantastic. Entry closet here. But when we come back here, you've got the old windows, sort of the old style windows, but obviously really cared for. Lid style, single pane windows. You can see the wavy lines. It's a really great historic type of thing. That is City Hall back there. Take a look at the kitchen. Really amazing kitchen. And we have a half bath when you first come in here. I love that. So you've got the modern bathroom. Love that tile. You've got the bidet and the Toto, which is great. Toto makes the best dryers. Um, Durabit's pretty good too, and so is Kohler, but Toto is, I think, pretty great. You've got a little uh, bars here for the ladder. You've got decor appliances. You've got this really interesting configuration here where there's a pocket door. Look at the substance and how heavy this is. It's gorgeous, and yet it moves just so smoothly. And the other side, you have one too. I love the uh, extra millwork they did. Take a look here. Love the backsplash. You've got marble countertops, of quartz countertops. You've got the grand uh, outlets here. You've got the decor range here. I think that's probably a 48 inch one hood. And then out here, take a look at that view. Really cool. Nice space out here. You've got the Trex uh, decking, so it's pretty uh, durable. And I love that. Look at the medallions. The paint job is really wonderful. You are fully detached, which is great. So you don't have to worry about it. I think there's a side entrance to the uh, space down below. I love these folding doors here. Look at that. You've got your microwave. And I think you have your steam thing there too. Really just a fantastic space. Recess lights above. So with all this, let's go upstairs. <laughs> I love that stained glass detail with the lighting above. I think it's yep, LED. It's really clever. So we've got four rooms on this level, and I think we have four bathrooms. It's pretty massive. So you've got bathrooms in front, the primary room in the back. Let's start with the back and start with this laundry room here, which is really nice to have. I love the detail. Like, see, you can see the pressed wallpaper in better detail. This level, I think the ceiling heights are 12 feet. Let me think. Are they 12 feet or 11 feet? 11 feet, I think. Yes, 11 feet. I have the measurements here. Let's just take a look. Yep, 11 feet. So, out of the view here is the park. And then, of course, Grove Street, back side of there. That building has been under restoration for a long time. And this whole neighborhood, as you can see, just beautiful homes, big views, 
out the back there towards the Salesforce Tower. And here, I mean, first of all, before we go inside, look at the, the hinges, the hardware, beautifully crafted, really well done. You have the old doors, or the or style like the old doors, walk-in closet here. And in here is your primary bathroom. At least I think it is. Other ones, soaking tub here. Dual vanities, again with the LeBron here. I love the window above. Take a look here. Shower in here. I don't know why that light's blue. I'm not sure, maybe it's a UV thing. I think there might be a steam function. There are a lot of knobs and hand showers and whatnot. And of course, your water closet, shall we say, or your loo. Again, with another uh, bidet toilet. Really just spacious. Bathroom above. Again, look up the detail there. They mimicked the old crop holding, <clears throat> but really went hardcore with it. Let's go here. Bedroom number two. And you have a Jack and Jill, or perhaps a shared bathroom. I don't know what the parlance is these terms. Shower, I'm sorry, shower, toilet, ah, not with the bidet, and then sink here. And right here we're in front. So you're on a busy street. Of course, there are a lot of people there. You are living in the middle of a landmark. Let's go over here. Closet back here. And then another bathroom here. Walk in shower here. Love that tile. Really cool styling here. Toilet back here. And then in here at the front bedroom. Usually this is part of the painting room or whatnot, but it's split. You could, I don't know if you could do it anymore, but usually sometimes these were connected or whatnot. But again, just really a great sense of space and light. Oh, let's look at here. You got a little fine portico detail. And of course, right on the park. You got really right on the park. But I mean, talk about people wanting to come see your house and curb appeal, right? Let's go upstairs. There's that detail again. Love that window here. So upstairs, now this is the fun part. I mean, this wasn't already fun. This is the really fun part because they've captured the attic. A lot of times attics are small. In this case, the attic is beautifully big. Take a look at that. You've got this great sense of space and storage. The height here ranges from 11 feet all the way to 13 or 14 feet. Lots of storage here. Oh. Let's take a look here. I love the dormers. Take a look back there. Let's see where you can capture that too. All the storage underneath, the little knee walls here. And, I mean, look at that. And of course, there's a bathroom. You know, why wouldn't you have a bathroom up here, right? Let's see what this is. Oh, mechanicals up here. Tanks water heater, secure system heater. That's really nice too to have. Really smart. So it's been updated. You know, you this beautiful space. I love that ceiling fan too. Take a look here. Another bathroom. I've lost count of how many bathrooms are. I think there are six or seven in total. Nice walking shower. Really well executed with the niche, with the tile. Very nicely done. Nice sense of flow, sense of light. Look at the views towards the Marin Headlands out there. Towards uh, Japantown, Lord Not Hill, and then of course towards Civic Center. Look at that. I mean, it's all right there. I love these. And then imagine your office here. I don't know, I'm gonna have it looking the other way. Because this is really cool, but <clears throat> this is a really cool view too. All right, so this is the upstairs. So we've got the upstairs here, we have the attic, like we said. And then we've got the bedroom level, which we were just at. Let's go down to the lower level. Here. So, 
lot of little vignettes of the scrum, of the of the lintel. Oh, and yeah. down here, we've got another space. Thanks. Appreciate that. This is your garage space here. Second heater. Water here is down here. The epoxy floors. I love the epoxy floors. When it's glitter day, I love doing that. You've got solar and you've got Tesla uh, car charger here. And in here, you've got an eight foot tall space here. And take a look at this. A little kitchenette, or it would be, you can do the uh, electric uh, stove or induction range there. And it's just really nice too. And you have sprinkles, sprinklers on this level. Here's a little portico here. Take a look at the view. That is Civic Center here. There's that entrance. And over here, you've got bathroom, full bathroom with the shower. And then you've got the bedroom over here. Nine feet tall, sprinklers, separate entrance, all that good stuff here. And um, yeah, let's take a look at this look. The big sports here, or the level lot here. So we're the rear on the deck before the top. And then over here, you've got this little sitting area here. So yeah, really just an incredible space. 722 Steiner Street. We are here, of course, amongst the postcard row, amongst the the original paint. Well, I'm not sure if the original paint ladies, but there were the paint look even here. Look at that. Paint ladies. Um, just a fantastic space. We're so happy we're gonna see it. It will probably not last too long because there is already strong interest in the property and it's not very often that a property with all this detail space and yet the upgrades, the functionality, I mean, and then just the quality actually comes on the market like this. So we're really happy you were able to come and see it with us. This is, of course, Kevin Ho. Be sure to see more of our videos. And until the next one. Thank you for watching.